Question, have you ever found your parents condoms? I put a sweet <laughs> up my bum, <gasps> then put it back in the bag for someone to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a lot of brand deals from saying this. <laughs> then I went to my dad's sock drawer and I was like, no, oh God, God. you're not. Really? And I'm literally yeah. I haven't heard that word in so long. telling my manager to fuck off. Who was your Disney crush when you were a kid? Oh. No, this is weird. No, say who it was. And then I'd literally cry Wait. myself to sleep. No, oh. who was Because. Hey guys, welcome back to The Secrets Out, episode five. I'm here today with Ali and Claire. <laughs> Sorry, we've got an extra special guest <laughs> oh. today. A very sleepy guest. Very sleepy. <laughs> Evie, who is so super cute. sleepy. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Because mm. I always find introducing people incredibly difficult because <laughs> I feel like everyone can explain what they do and who they are far better than I can. So, okay, yeah. go for it. Hey, my name's Alistair, better known as Ali A. I've been making gaming videos on YouTube for over 10 years now um, and have built up just gone 16 million subscribers on my main gaming channel. Um, Unreal. And playing a lot of Fortnite right now. Yeah, that's my that's my jam. Sixteen million. Yeah. yeah, it's quite crazy. That's a that's more than like a lot of countries. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to oh. think in my head what countries have less than sixteen. Like the whole of Iceland has three hundred fifty thousand people population. Oh well, they're just bigger than Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit bigger than Iceland. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. It is crazy. It's crazy. I'm Claire Siobhan. I'm Ali's girlfriend. I also have my own YouTube channel, which I do also gaming stuff, but also vlog stuff. Sometimes wig stuff recently, which is wig. actually a lot of, yeah. And I think I've got 1.3 million subs. Maybe 1.4 now. More Maybe than Iceland. 1.4. More yeah. than Iceland. I've, I've never ever yeah. like, talked about Iceland population before. <laughs> this has started off weird. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I've been doing it a couple of years now. And we also have a joint channel that we upload on all the time. Once every few months. Yeah. <laughs> a bit like this channel then. <laughs> yeah. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. Entertaining a YouTube channel. But yeah, we live together with all our pets and make videos and don't go out the house that much. Because you're making videos. Because we're the making YouTuber videos. Life. The grind. Every yep. day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to start off with a sequel of yours? Um, this is It's like less of a secret, more to the weird story. Do I know this? No, nah, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Juicy. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> so, um, so when I was really little, like quite young, mm -hmm. um, we used to go to the theatre quite a lot, like me and my family. Um, it was like pantomime, so we'd go and see things like, I don't know, Peter Pan, Aladdin or something. Yeah. And they'd always cast like a really good looking like woman for like the female lead role. And as a little kid, I'd like watch Wait, this. Wait, how old are you? like probably like 10 or something okay. 10 to 12 okay and like i'd like fall in love with like this lead actress <laughs> and like just because like in the moment like you know when you're quite young you're in the story yeah. and like everyone's dressed up and then i'd go home and i just like think i was like wow uh like <laughs> this woman was so pretty <laughs> where's the story <laughs> going <laughs> And then I'd literally cry Wait. myself to sleep. No, <laughs> because I was like, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna have a woman like the woman. Oh in my the gosh! But see, that sounds super cute. But what changes that story? Is, is that I was so young? <laughs> no, is it who was your Disney crush when you were a kid? No, this is weird. No, say who it was. Come no. on. You know, like think of like beautiful Disney actresses. Like, yeah. Like one that people tend to love is The Little Mermaid. Yeah, guess Cinderella. Who, no, guess who Ali fancied in The Little Mermaid? No, so I remember this differently, all right? I remember <laughs> sitting there as a kid watching uh, the Little Mermaid, and you know, like, like all I'm the, hearing is excuses, bro. Like, the, <laughs> I don't even know her name anymore. The big I woman do. in the purple one. Yeah, the Ursula. purple one. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then when someone showed me a picture, I was like, oh my god, this, this is not how I remember her. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. That is good. There you have it. Damn. Yeah. Okay, that's quite more deep. embarrassing. That's a re weird, embarrassing story than anything, but no, I like it. I like the first like one though. It. That's so cute. It was more just like I was rap. It's like I wish I was in this like fantasy world. Yeah. So you know, you passed your driving test on the first go. Yeah. And you know, I've been saying I have done as well. Yeah. And I've kept that. No, is this legit? Going for the is past legit? ten years. Yeah. When I passed. I didn't pass my driver test the first really? go. No, I passed it on the second. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, but I was like, I was so much better at driving my first one. My second one, I got like three or four minors, but my first one, 
I was like a god right up until the end, and I like knew I'd passed. So I just drove without even thinking and went straight across the <gasps> roundabout. Oh straight my over. Gosh. Yeah, like literally went boom. Jeez. Like, and yeah, fail, instant fail. But wow. when I tell my mum, she's like, okay, we'll keep this between us. Really? No one will ever Your know. Family is going to know. And he's taking you off all the insurance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not driving the test. I'm never anymore. get insured on the R8 now. I'm not insured on the R8. You want Are you not? No. No one's ever driven the R8 apart from me, like technicians. No, but also, can we say what happened to the first R8? You can't not insure someone else, yet you wrote How your own car come up? up. So, I didn't even think about this secret until someone just reminded me now a second ago. It's not a good one. Oh no. Um, <laughs> when I was 17, yeah. I went out clubbing for the first time with a fake ID. Yeah. Not something you should be doing. It was not me. And um, it was like my first time proper drinking in a club, so I was trying to drink up to the level of everybody else who I'd worked with. So like, they're all like 28 and 30 and stuff like that. So like, when they're getting like a double vodka cranberry, yeah, I'm, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll get a double vodka cranberry. Like, I'm not used to drinking like back to back drinks. Bad news. Yeah. I'm used to like taking cans to a party, <laughs> and um, got crazy drunk. I don't remember anything other than waking up in bed and my sister being like. Yeah. Oh no. And I was like, what? She's like, do you not remember me and mum picked you up last night? Jeez. No, I don't remember that. So you like black out. So it turns out. What did you do? Here's the story. I was like crazy drunk in the club. Everyone who I worked with thought I'd gone missing for like an hour. They couldn't see where I was. The door of the club opened and I was asleep in a bush outside. <gasps> <laughs> outside the club. I'm going to lose a lot of brand deals from saying this. <laughs> <laughs> asleep in a bush. And my manager was trying to get my phone because nobody knew where I lived, like my dress. Right? We're in the middle of a night out and trying to ring my mum to see if she could come and like pick me up or they could drop me back or whatever. <laughs> and I wouldn't give her the code to my phone for an hour and a half because <gasps> I was like, you're going to frape me. You're going to write stuff on my Facebook. Oh, and she was like, no, oh, you're God. not. And I'm literally yeah. I haven't heard that word in so long. telling my manager to fuck off for an hour and a half because she was going to freak me. And it took them an hour and a half to get my code to be able to get my mum to come and pick oh me up. That's, a, that's some good work colleagues. A lot of that people is... would have just been like, okay, enjoy your bush. Yeah, yeah. stay there, mate. That's your, that's your bed for the night. And then one of Marcus Butler's friends, Marcus texts me the next day like, how was last night? Yeah. So how do you know? What do you mean? He was like, my mate saw you in a bush. <gasps> <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. That's bad. That that's a good story bad. though. That's a really that's a good, good story. <laughs> No fake IDs. <clears throat> right, let's go into some of these secrets. Okay. So these are all real secrets, anonymously submitted, so we have to treat them with some level of... Anonymity. And respect, respect. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some level of respect. I mean, we can laugh at them, but they are real people situations. <laughs> we do have this, this here, which was requested in by people watching as a bullshit bell. Ooh. So if you don't believe the secret, okay. you can okay. call bullshit by hitting the bell because... We don't know whether these things are real or not. Yeah. Somebody's just written them in. They could literally be made up or it could be real. Um, so if we don't think the secret's real, feel free to okay. to call bullshit. Okay, I, I like that. Can I just press it to get out of my yeah, system? Yeah, of course. Shall I read the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. You sure? Yeah, yeah. My granddad's hearing is really bad. And I wind him up by saying stuff like, can I have a... and not say anything after. <laughs> His girlfriend and I do it all the time. And he gets so frustrated thinking that he's going deaf. Oh my gosh. Is this his girlfriend or the granddad's girlfriend? It says his, so I'm guessing it's the granddad's. Oh, that's even that's worse. Cute. That's Because that's he'll get it all the time then. Oh yeah, I just thought it was cute that a granddad had a girlfriend, <laughs> but yeah. That's oh, not I, too bad. That's a cute one. I'm trying to think. I feel it's cute, but it depends how long it's going on for. I'm, I'm, all I can think about when it comes to my grandparents and someone like that is when my grandpa was really old, and I was quite young, and like he just wound me up so much. I went behind him, I was just like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> I was so mad. And my <gasps> mum was in the room next to me, looked and saw me do it, and she flipped oh, really? out. Really? Yeah, I mean. Which grandpa? He's not around, it was my uh... mum's dad. So that's why she was so annoyed. She was like, don't you dare do that. And I was like, so mad. I you can't remember caught. why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I oh cannot imagine little you doing that. Nah. You look so cute in pictures with your little cow <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time my mum saying that she's got quite a few siblings and she was like, all of us, they, she, they, she's got a sister who's 10 years younger. And they said that when, when they were little, they all started miming when she came in the room once. 
and she was like straight up thought she had gone deaf. That's and I'm like, so... that's not cool. That's but funny. also, surely you'd like make a noise and hear it yeah. and be like, guys, I'm not deaf. What's yeah, going on here? That's a really good like, point. So I, she must have been super young, but I remember my mum saying that. I like it. I like it. I don't, I think it's real as well. Mm. It's fine. All right, who wants to go for it? I'll go next. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> when I was little, I put a sweet <laughs> up my bum, <gasps> then put it back in the bag for someone to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought I want to ring the bell for that. The other person would surely be able to like smell it. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually. Surely the waft would give it away real quick. Also, it's kind of like yeah, you you might be like getting someone to eat a gross sweet, but then you've had to put a sweet up your bum. Like who's really who, won yeah, this? No story? one's winning. But also, <laughs> are you there? Like, if you're there watching them do it, that's really like evil. That's bad. <laughs> But if you're doing it and you don't get to see them, then you don't get any like laughter out of doing it. So I don't yeah. know what's worse, like doing it and watching the person's reaction. That's that's a really good point. Or doing it and putting the sweets back in the cupboard and then just knowing that someone's going to do it, eat them one day. It's creepy. Imagine doing it and then kind of just like forgetting and your parents be like, oh, do you want some sweets? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, eat ah, it. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I feel as a kid though, like you just don't, you do dumb things like yeah. that. And then you just don't really think it, beyond the point of being like oh this is stupid i'll try this <laughs> and just, yeah they're just plain funny yeah like leaving a tiny bit of something in like if you've had the last bit of juice but you leave a tiny tiny bit at the end so the other person has to be the one that puts it in the bin oh, then your mum doesn't I still buy do anymore that. that's the still fridge. me with the milk no that's so yeah, that annoying is me. <laughs> wait what do you mean you just leave a little bit like leave a tiny bit so the other person has to put it in the bin Oh yeah, I, like I don't. If I have some cereal, I just leave a little bit of milk <laughs> and put it back in the fridge. Oh, see, I'm the kind of person that will finish, just have more milk in their drink or cereal, just for the sake of being like, okay, now, now I'm finished with it. See, so you're a good person. I'm a good, good guy. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. equally, I'm probably go back for a coffee and then I'm like, oh shit, there's no yeah, milk left. Oh wait, that's my own fault. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. me. <laughs> I once stole 20 quid off my nan and granddad when I was 13 and I never told anyone. And I'm th 30 and I feel guilty about it every day. They're both no longer with us. Oh. Oh. I think on the one hand- How old were they? They were 13 when they did it. And yeah. now they're in the 30s. On the one hand, stealing 20 quid like, from your grandparents is really bad. But on the other hand, if they were still around, they wouldn't want you to feel bad about it in your thirties, mm. would they? Mm. But ste I, like stealing from family members, I just think it's horrible. Mm. We literally were talking about this with earlier. I think it's good that they feel bad. Yeah. It's, it'd be worse if That's they were like, hey, point. I wish I got more. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I know, I remember friends at school telling me how they'd like go upstairs and like just take 50 quid from their mum's like no. purse and stuff. Jeez. Yeah. And but again, that's like the mindset members. of like not realizing, like yeah. with a sweet, yeah. your mum's gonna know that 50 quid yeah, is gone. Yeah, that's a really good point actually. Yeah, how rich were you like your friend's parents? I don't know, that's a, now I think about it, they must have had a lot. So I'm like, oh, 50 quid's gone. <laughs> 50 quid up north when I was 13, like, you'd have been a king. <laughs> <laughs> Sweets for weeks and yeah. weeks. <laughs> I don't think worry. I don't think worry about it. Nah. They would. They wouldn't want you to be worrying about it. No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As long as he's learnt from his lesson, just yeah. don't do it again. Or give an extra. Maybe maybe give an extra twenty quid to a grandchild in the future. Yeah. yeah. Like pass it pass on. it on. Or give it to like an old people's home or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. No. Donate interest. 20 pounds to an old, yeah. yeah. Donate 30 pounds <laughs> to an old people's charity. And then you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Done, yeah. anxiety over. Done. Holy shit, this is a big one. Jeez, okay. okay. I've been with my boyfriend for over a year. One day he really upset me after a big argument and said some nasty things. I needed someone to talk to. I rang my ex-boyfriend. We got chatting and he came and picked me up. We drove for hours chatting about life. It got late and we parked up outside mine. One thing led to another and he kissed me. First I stopped him, but then I looked him in the eye and carried on. I haven't spoken again I haven't spoken to him again since and have continued my current relationship. Not a day goes by where I don't think about that night. I love my current boyfriend more than anything and I feel so awful. Jeez. That's rough. That's uh that's a toughie. I think I think you gotta, I think for your own self mental preservation, yeah. you gotta get it off your chest and tell your boyfriend. And if your boyfriend loves you as much as you love him, it, it will be it, it will be really hard to hear. Yeah. But also, I, I, I think there's gotta be some level of understanding there. I don't know. We've had bad arguments before, but, like, never, and, I, but nothing's ever happened, but no. I could see how you'd get so like just, 
Mm. Like you, you're not in the right mindset when things like that happen. So but why would you call your ex-boyfriend though? That I was a, that's I, like, the mistake was yeah. made at that point, wasn't it? Uh, like almost, you could have like seen the rest of that story playing out as soon as mm. she called her ex-boyfriend. I think she has to come clean though. Even if it ruins a relationship, like that relationship was doomed from the moment that happened anyway. If he can't forgive her, but she has to come clean. Mm. It's not going to be something that goes away from her thinking about it, like. Like this person, twenty pounds. They're now thirty. Still yeah. remembering that moment. They're always, as long as in that relationship, still going to be remembering that thing. Also, what if somehow the ex-boyfriend is in like some sort of friendship group and tells someone, and yeah. then it gets around to the boyfriend before hundred percent worse. Be, yeah, like, exactly. And I think it's a forgive if it, if it's a one-time occurrence and it's it's just a kiss. I think that's forgivable if mm. you're in a like a long-term relationship and you both committed. And it's made her realise that she doesn't want to do that yeah. again. Mm, that's a good point. But yeah, I think it's still an issue of like, I think she needs to let him know and real focus on making more friends so that if she goes through a tough time, yeah. that's do not really go to the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, that's a there really is good point. 50 other people that come before him. Yeah. But also in an mm. argument, like no matter how bad things get, and I think we're really good at this. Like we, if we are really disagreeing about stuff and get really arguing, we never like Ali would never call me a bitch, and mm. I would like never like I, we just don't ever call each other names. Yeah, because that like the stuff you say in an argument, you might have only said it in the heat of the moment, but it's still said. Those words are yeah. still out there. Mm. So you just should never like arguments. You should argue about the thing you're arguing about, and not say things you can never take yeah. back about that person. Yeah. So there is that element, and he said stuff that she really that really upset her. Mm. It's a hard one. Yo, I got deep. Yeah. <laughs> got deep. <laughs> Go for it, ma'am. Oh, yeah, it's my turn. Okay. <clears throat> I work with my best friend's boyfriend. She's always been paranoid that he may have cheated on her or will cheat on her. So has asked that I, ke I kept an eye out for her. After a works night out, me and him ended up sleeping with each other and we still haven't confessed to her. It's been almost a year oh. since that happened, and they are still together. Oh, I thought the last one was bad. That's really Wait, bad. Wait, reread the beginning bit. Okay, okay. It was so, like looking okay. after or something. So I work with my best friend's boyfriend. Yeah. So two girls and her best friend's boyfriend. Yeah. She's been paranoid for a while that the boyfriends um, will cheat on her. So just think something will happen. And then she's meant to be just looking, like keeping yeah, an eye on yeah. him because they work together. And she ended up being the friend, ended up being the one that slept Shit. with the boyfriend. On the one hand, at least the trash took itself out and she's like managed to, if she, that girl should come clean to her friend yeah. so that she can lose the shitty friend and the shitty boyfriend. The trash oh. took itself out. Oh, Look, yeah. right, you wouldn't want to stay like, did they, no, she needs imagine, to cut both Imagine of losing your best friend and your boyfriend at the same time. Obviously mm. I'm not saying that it's not right. I'm just saying, yo, that would be hard it's to deal rough. with. But that girl's not her best friend. That no girl is way. not her friend. Can you imagine how you'd feel if you found that out? Like, I'd feel sick. Droid. I'd actually feel sick. Literally. Oh, yeah, that's rough. I don't even know how you can resolve that part. I, yeah. I just don't want to think about this innocent girl who's in the middle and doesn't no. know anything's going on. You both... Everyone needs to tell her. She needs to know. She needs to know. Yeah. Imagine that poor girl who's had her boyfriend be, you know, and her friend mm. cheat together. Imagine that there were some other friends that knew about it, and it's just been this year thing where she's just like, like every oh, time no. you see her, like you know that it's happened, but yeah. no, but you know she doesn't. Like that would just destroy you. That's so bad. I've always said like, if a friend's cheating, on like if I'm friends with a couple and I found out that one of the couple had cheated, I for sure would be like, look, you've got like a week to tell the other person, mm. otherwise I'm gonna, yeah. just because I'd want to urge them to tell mm. it, like push the force on like them telling each other yeah and i think that that's that's like a good thing for like no matter who in the relationship you're friends with because mm -hmm. i know that there's sometimes a thing that like if it's a girl or the girlfriends won't tell the boyfriend or like if it's a boys it's like oh no bros before hoes like yeah. we'll keep it a secret like not th we won't tell her it's fine but i think that that's a much healthier mindset just yeah. like if you don't come clean we will because mm. it's too hurtful yeah that's not a good situation mm. poor girl when I was seven, my goldfish died, but I didn't want to flush it down the toilet in case it got blocked. I had a big goldfish. 
I ended up bloody big. You thought it was a goldfish, not a koi cart. <laughs> I ended up feeding my cart with the fish. Everything Jeez. was okay until the next morning. When I come downstairs and see my mum crying, she pointed to the cart. He was solid dead. I oh. killed my cart by feeding it my fish. R.I.P. Rolo. I don't know whether Rolo is the cart or the fish. I'm feeling it's the oh. cart though. God, that's. Bad. So whatever killed the goldfish killed the cart. Did it say how how old uh, he was? He was quite young. I feel like you got, must be really young to do Seven. Something. Seven, yeah, go. Oh, seven, yeah, that's young. That has got to be a big goldfish though. Does his family know that he's done this? No, or, it's a secret. Ah. Uh... Unless it does, it doesn't <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> Does <his> family know? <laughs> 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 it's, oh my god. Damn. Oh. Also. Do you guys, you, you have cats, don't you? You've got two yeah. cats. Do cats yeah. eat fish? Because I feel like that's in like all kids' books. So I can understand why seven-year-old feeds a fish to a cat. Yeah. But I've had cats growing up and I don't think they eat fish. We bought our cat fish, like our cats eat raw food. And yeah. they, they only will eat venison, which is like super annoying. Bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yo, they're like tigers. They're not <laughs> cats. They look like tigers, yeah. to be fair. They're bigger than you. Like, like they're big. <laughs> Um, and we got them fish, raw like fish type one before, yeah. and they, they wouldn't touch it. I don't know. There's definitely a lot of like weird things you know you you see as a kid yeah. that don't actually add up. But my dog would eat anything, but I don't know if cats eat. Yeah, cats anything. Are little, not they too. are actually quite like picky, like picky yeah. with what they want to eat and what they don't want to eat. Like yeah. I have a, re a related but not related fish story from when I was a kid. Okay. Me and my brother both got two fish for our bedrooms. Mm -hmm. His fish lived for like literally like. 15 years, like a one year we Were gave goldfish? them. goldfish? Yeah, yeah, just two goldfish in a mm. bowl. And we gave them to my grandma when we went on holiday once and then we just never took them back. And they like lived there for ages. One of them was like swimming upside down for like the past five years of its life. Mine, I had a, yeah, I had a swim, swim bladder, bladder disorder. Yeah, Wait, yeah. They have a float what? upside down. Yeah. They're not I dead, mate. That. Like <laughs> every know. time friends would come over, they'd be like, the fish help me, man. <laughs> like, I hate to tell you. And I'm like, no, I don't mind, bro. He's like, we called him fat fish. And he was just like that's super what, big and floating upside James down. That's what like. Uh, why? His was so ugly too. That was His weird swim bladder fish. disorder. Yeah, he was very... That's actually quite funny. I like that. <laughs> but my fish lasted like two months and that's it. And it's because I was so desperate for a pet growing up. My parents would never let me have anything, which is why we've got loads of animals now. So every day I just take my fish out the bowl and stroke no, them. them. No, and didn't. then put them back in again. Oh I was really young and I just really wanted something to love and my fish. So I just take them out and like stroke them, give them all the kisses and put them back no. in. And then they like died. <laughs> and they died on Remembrance Day. So every Remembrance Day I'm reminded that I killed my fish. Oh my God. By loving them too Jeez. much. I'm like Lenny from Of Mice and Men. That's so Too funny. much love. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't feed your fish to your cat. Yeah. Don't stroke and love them either. I they do think you like should tell it. your family though. Yeah. I think so. Because yeah. also they could turn around and go, no, the cat was ill for quite a while. You were seven. Yeah, we didn't that's want to tell a you. Really good point, completely unrelated. And now he can be like, mm. okay. That's a really good point. I feel like the family might have known though. Because if the mum was just like, look. Like it says that she just pointed. She was just pointing at the cat. Also, how did you explain where the fish went? Because yeah. the fish would He be... must have said he flushed it down the toilet. Oh, and just yeah. Okay. But I don't know if you would let your seven year old flush the fish, fish. down. The... Like, that's quite raw for seven. <laughs> like, I know families that when the fish died, they just bought another one because it looked the same and they just never told. So, like, my I next feel, door neighbour literally that. had like 10 fish. Well, maybe that's saturation. Probably like four or five. But they thought it, the little girl thought it was one. Oh. I'm sorry if you're watching, I've just ruined your goldfish <laughs> no. growing up and you didn't know. <laughs> My parents have been arguing because some of their condoms have been disappearing and they thought one might be cheating on the other. Really, me and my boyfriend have been using them, but my parents don't suspect anything as they think I'm a virgin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's actually such a good one. That's rough. Oof, I mean, uh, the How, aunt... Has she heard her parents arguing about condoms? Yeah, that's a really good point. Like, did they just bring it up around dinner? They're suspecting on each other cheating. Maybe that's where the story came about. Uh. That's... You know what the lesson here is? Just stop stealing from your parents. Go to you like... You can get them for free, can't you? If you go to like yeah. a yeah, clinic. Yeah, exactly. There's places you can go which doesn't involve stealing from your parents and causing arguments. Question. Have you ever found your parents' condoms? <sighs> oh, shit. Uh, Good question. Don't, no. I don't 
think I have. No. That means he has. No, <laughs> I don't. No, I, don't <laughs> I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. I'd, I'd come out and say if I have. I haven't, but I'm just not one to be snooping. Like, yeah. I'm just like, like if I went over to your guys' house now, I'm not, not. Into you won't snooping. be in the bins. Like, there's mate. no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to be where you could find anything like that. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Have you? Yeah, I found one oh. when I was a kid. I didn't mean to. Um, I was looking for some socks. Um, I'm like, I had none. I checked my mum's drawer, then she didn't have any. Then I went to my dad's sock drawer and I was like, oh, holy shit. Do you know what they were? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I was like 13, 14. Oh, I did the same and thing. And I was like in my head like, but surely my parents don't still have sex. Yeah, they don't I want- was like so like, no way. Like mum and That's dad so like, funny. no, that, they wouldn't do that. And I was super weirded out by it. Wait, wh- where did you find it? In my dad's sock drawer. That's the exact I'm same so place. Sorry, I, fa- I did. So I, I was I sat there. It. I knew he was- I was quite <laughs> young. I was quite young. It no, was- I, I, would, I would say if I, if I found them. Yeah, I found them. Okay, yeah, I did too. <laughs> I've forgotten till you told me that story. Cause we were sat there and it, we were, must have been quite young, me and my brother. And I think it was when like you'd go into your your parents like bed in the morning like I don't know have a coffee or tea or something like and just sit there, um, and and then I think a drawer was open and like I reached in and I was like what's this and then me and my brother looked at each other realized they were condoms and just like screamed and ran out of the room. Screamed. But my mum was like normal about it. she's like Wait, was like, she there? Yeah, but my whole family was there. Oh shit! But my mum was like, look, kids, like condoms are normal like everyone uses them and me and my brother were having none of it we're like we don't want to know just like go away oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 out, hit yeah my mum was Xbox. being really good about it that yeah such I a know. healthy way to go yeah about it, it was well done hillary and me, me and my brother were like la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ever want to think about it but then like you no. wouldn't exist like it has yeah. to have happened <laughs> it's good to know how they work and what they are from a young age i guess so my mom tried that's off to your mum yeah that's off. i think that's cool yeah there you that's go cool. I did lie at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I was younger, my family and I went on a camping trip. One morning, me and my sister made some squash. After drinking some of it, oh no. I used to go camping all the time with my family every year. Let's hope this wasn't me. I can imagine <laughs> you guys going camping, yeah. You guys, you went camping as yeah, well? Yeah, we went lot. camping a lot. Okay. This, this didn't happen to us, thankfully. I think I know what this so was gonna they, say. I thought it was gonna be worse and I've just read on it's not as bad as I thought. So they drank some of the squash and they realized it tasted off. Later that day, our dad told us he pissed in the bottle the night before. This was what we were used to make our squash. We had drunk our own dad's. Oh, come on. That no. final line was not needed. Oh my. Secret teller person. Why is your dad ca- pissing in a bottle anyway? It Can't must just, have been apple juice. Just go to, go to the bush. <laughs> yeah, you're camping. Oh, you're much in the rather just, Yeah, just piss out and about. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I blame the dad for that. What's he doing? Why I hope he... the dad doesn't know. Did the family know or was it just the just the kids? It doesn't, it doesn't say. Also, why they is he not d- emptying it out once he's done with it? It's the, I, I, I'm kind of tempted to almost do this because why why camping would you pee in a bowl? Although Unless you're we... peeing in the tent. Like, didn't yeah, even get out. It's just yeah. straight up peeing in the tent. Okay, so and it's like, it's like mid- then you like... throw that out. You don't want that in the tent with you. Unless you're so tired, like, I'll go back to bed and then you just leave it there. Is it easy Next to, to piss? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is it easy to pee in a bottle? Like how? I don't think I've ever tried it. Logistically, because I don't think girls can do it. Like I think it's out of the question. So I've wanted to do it many times whilst on a drive, like long drive, eleven miles till the next station. I've been like, right, am I doing this? There's a bottle down there. The one thing I think I could pee in a bottle easy. I don't know how much I wee. That's the. That's am I going to overflow yeah, the bottle? Yeah, that's. The, I don't yeah. know how much comes out because I just wee in the toilet. Yeah. Like, you, so I've never done it in case I overflow it. Would you like aim at the bottle? Or would you like put it there? Yeah, oh. <laughs> I don't understand oh, logistically it. how you're doing this. I think you get as close as you can. Yeah, you just try and have some good. You don't accuracy. want to be like having a gap, a big gap, especially not what's in the car anyway. <laughs> well, this is more like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it out. I'll let everyone know. <laughs> Since primary school, I had a crush on a boy. We are now married with four kids. Oh, oh wow, that's cute. However, I don't love him anymore. Oh. And I've fallen for another guy and have two kids with him. Neither of them know, but I've now met someone else that I really like, and she's a woman, and I think I'm a lesbian. Yeah. Nah, mate. What, is that nah, other guy mate. just looking at That's a great story, though. Or like, did your current husband not notice that you had two kids with another person? or? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like... Four kids, and then you fall in love with someone else. That's cool. Well, not like that. Just is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine about <laughs> feeling. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's not great, but it's just like that can happen. That's, that's like yeah. But having two kids 
where the second partner while still being married to the first partner. Who doesn't notice? Well, they just don't notice you're like pregnant That's for nine months. That's a really months. good point. You, this, you, Twice? Yeah. The only way you can do it is have like a surrogate person like giving birth for you, right? Which so, is just like oh, a really mate. long convoluted. That's, yeah. yeah. The and now she's a lesbian. Yeah, I mean, it's a great story, guys. That's not true. It's a fairy tale. If it is true, please submit more context. Yeah. I'd love to know more. Every time I'm alone, I always look through other people's stuff. <gasps> if it's a sibling, friend, or other family, I will always, this is underlined, go through their belongings. I've come across some bad things, but I just do it because I'm a curious person. So far, I've never been caught. Everyone's curious, but you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame that on curiosity. Oh. Yeah. Like, that's just, not cool. I just find that so weird. Cause I've never even had the urge to want to go through other people's stuff. Like, if I see someone and they've got a bag or backpack, like, like that's almost like your personal space you've taken with you from yeah. home with you. It could have anything in there. It could have pers uh, private stuff, pictures. I don't know, it's a bit weird. <laughs> a bit, like, imagine going to a party, this person walks in and all they care about is how many bags can I look through? <laughs> <laughs> they just get a job in a cloakroom at a club yeah. and they're just like looking oh through God. everyone's they shit the whole time. That. They'd love that. <laughs> oh man. What about if you were a cleaner and there was like, I know you're cleaning somebody's bedroom. You clean the house, I know, once or twice a week. Mm. Do you look through a couple of the drawers when they're not in? I think they like. Do you like? Do you like? If there's a letter on the side, do you just give it a little like accidental? You don't mean to like read a little paragraph? Yeah. Well, we. I don't know about you, but we do. We do have a clean uh, two cleaners that come once a week, and they're like really nice. Yeah. And we always say how much we trust them because we yeah. just leave stuff out. Like yeah, we'll open up letters, a whole pile, and just leave them on the table. We've opened them. Yeah. Um. And like they could go through a drawer, and they probably have. They they like there's no way you don't. I mean, they've let's... seen Ali's condom sock drawer. <laughs> 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 they've probably seen everything. Like, yeah. so we've left money out, and they've never like our, our cleaners are just like yeah. Like, that we love them to bits. Don't have a bad word to say about them, but I think if I think they probably do, and I would do the same, mm. just because it's entertaining. You'd, you'd glance at stuff as you yeah. was putting it away. But I think that's different to deliberately going out to maliciously trying to find things. For sure. Have you ever looked through a partner's phone before? No. Zoe and I are like super open with stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. So I'm like, nah. I We've mean, left up. We leave our phones with each other all the time. Yeah. But and like, yeah. We also just like, the thing is we don't really use our phone unless we're next to each other. Yeah. So if, like if we're doing something weird, we can literally see it because we're right there. Yeah. Like, so it'd be stupid. Um, but no, nah, not really. I've never looked through like your like DMs or no. anything like that. Actually, I got asked to the other day in the office, they, it was like Zoe's 10 year celebration on YouTube uh, the other day. In the office, they're printing out all like pictures of throughout the years. Oh, I think stuff. I've it's been really 10 cool. years as well. That's crazy. Not to take you? anything away from Zoe. <laughs> no, my but, 10 years yeah. is July. Uh, I think mine's so January 2009, which is two months ago. Oh. I didn't really do anything about it. Oh, yeah. I was 13 years on YouTube yesterday, so I no. actually beat all of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, 2006? Yeah. I'm 2006, I think. I'm making this up now. Let me just check quickly. Yeah, so in the office, they asked me to go through Zoe's phone, go on her pictures, and see if I can find pictures of hers from the moments throughout the 10 years that Jeez. they could print off. And I was like, guys, if I get caught, like Zoe's asleep on the sofa and I'm going through her phone. Yeah. That's not something like that, like we would do like that. I mean, that's like, there's nothing to hide. And I feel like Zoe would be like, oh, hey, look, what were you looking for? Do you not trust me? Mm. And I'd be like, I can't tell her what I was looking yeah. for because it's a surprise. Yeah, that's, yeah. So me not be able to tell her, she'd be like, what do you mean? You're like, like, what are you looking at? And Did I'd you be do like, it in the end? So I said, I can't do it. I think and they had yeah. to just get pictures from online because I was like, yeah. I don't want to get caught and then not be able to explain why. So I said to them, right, I can either do it and if I get caught, I have to tell her and she'll yeah. know. Mm. Or I'm not going to do it and I, that's it. I'm going to have to use yeah. pictures from online. But I was like, I can't get caught looking through her phone and then not tell her why I was on her phone. I was like, that would be weird. Like, we don't like. Yeah. Even if I'm like shopping for like Christmas or birthday presents from you, I still feel like hiding my 
Like, yeah. you see, I still feel really dodgy doing it. Oh, yeah. I'm literally just making sure he gets a nice surprise, but it doesn't feel good hiding things from a partner, I don't think. I wouldn't, like, even the idea of looking through your pictures just gives me a bit of anxiety. Not because I'm, like, worried about anything, but what if, like, there was a picture on there? Not, not in our situation, but, like, any situation. Like, say you went through your girlfriend's phone and there was suddenly, like, five guy pictures and one was, like, topless. And you're like, what the, what, this is weird. He's got nothing on me, don't you worry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah this guy's no. talking to me, <laughs> Huge compared to him. No, um, but then like, maybe it was sent in like a girl's group chat and someone else For sent sure. it and it just auto saved on their phone. Yeah. And now you're sat here like worrying. Yeah. Uh, and like, it's just not worth doing. I don't know. Because like, like, this person could find something in like a friend or family member's room and get completely the wrong idea about it, get really mm. upset, like build up all this like like anger about it, and it's actually completely the wrong thing. For sure, for sure. Yeah. We don't approve, we're not happy with this person. Also, imagine just like having your cousins over or something, and then you like walk into the kitchen, you're all in the front room, you walk into the kitchen, your cousins are going for your bag, and like, <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Like, what are you looking for? Yeah. Like, that's just weird, like go through it if you want, but like, what are you doing? I think the the moral of this is just don't, don't bother do it. doing it. You're not yeah. going to gain anything from it. Uh, that you just you're not going to gain anything positive. You're going to find yeah. out something you wish you didn't know, or you want to know more and you can't ask more. Yeah. Hey. Last secret is yours. Okay. Let's <clears> go. Last one. Okay. A year ago, I was cleaning the house with my mum. After going through a few documents that were stuffed at the back of her wardrobe, I found a marriage certificate between my mum and a man I'd never heard of. I did some digging online and found that my mum got married when she was 15, which is when my oldest brother was born, meaning he's this other man's kid, not my dad's. I don't know whether my dad knows, nor have I told my mum that I've found out. God, it sounds quite, kind of real as well, to be honest yeah. with you, or, or a possibility. Jeez. I kind of feel like the dad must know though, because surely he'll have been on the scene afterwards if this his mum was married to somebody else and had a kid with them before. Mm, maybe the mum's just, hid it from the kids just for the sake of things being easier yeah for sure so that the other the dad must know yeah because yeah. if, the, if the new i say the new her dad goes to marry the mum and the mum isn't divorced yet yeah they wouldn't be able to get married so that mm. would be plus the kid would already be there at that point so that she's entering the relationship with a child already yeah that, they must said that's when he was born probably more a case of just the parents having not called, told the kids yet mm. I don't know how I'd bring that up to my parents though. Like I'm trying to think if I was that girl and I'm thinking my sister was from a different relationship and I'm like, I don't know if my dad knows. I, I don't know when would be right to like sit my mum down and chat with her. That'd be awkward. Yeah. Sit my dad down and my mum and chat with them. Tell my sibling like, yo, you might not be from <laughs> yeah, my you're, dad. You're not, you're not my, my family. <laughs> like, I think I'd let that secret go. Really? I think it lets me, if, if- Or just take it to the grave with you, just yeah. not mention it. It's not him that it's impacting, it's his brother that's gonna get really upset about And then he's taken away his brother's relationship with a potential real father. But his mum might have kept it for, for a reason. I, I think the best thing to do is like, do it individually. Ask the mum first. Because if you so do- Imagine yeah. sitting down with your mum and asking that. Yeah. I feel the easiest way is you need to get that document and act really naive and just be like, yo mum, Found what is this? I'm just yeah. like, yeah, 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 is that, yeah. What is that? Is that real? Yeah. Like, play super naive, like, yeah. you haven't thought about the scenarios and let your mum answer it and see how I think that's the best see way what she plays it. off rather than go in with, like, what about my brother? Is my brother really my dad? Like, blah, blah, blah. like I don't want to go in heavy yeah. and accuse stuff. Do you use Reddit? I don't. There's the, the website is like confuses me. That, yeah, it's the a whole weird if you don't know what you're doing. It's like yeah. four slash this, four slash that. I'm like, Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I wish I did. But. There's a subreddit for 23andMe, which is the yes, place where you that. send off your data. And oh my gosh, the stories on that are so, so good. Well, like, what bad. kind of thing? Like, if you search by like top stories, you get like the juiciest ones, also the saddest ones though. So there was two, a girlfriend and boyfriend that did it this like current Christmas, just yeah. gone. And so they if, got If anyone them. watching doesn't know what it is, it's basically like you put a little swab in your mouth send yeah. it off and you get all your DNA and it tells you like what can, what percent of which country you're from yeah and, and like, like genetic diseases, inherited diseases and stuff, and, yeah. stuff yeah. and that kind of thing so they both got their results back and they both shared 50% of each other's DNA so they were or 25% 25% of each other's DNA and you posted it up as proof and they were they, oh. le they both were like what the hell 
they both went to each of their parents' cells to find out what the story was. Both of their mums had used a sperm donor because neither of them had been able to get pregnant. Did they know they were sper- sperm donors? Uh, they, the, I don't know if they, I think the kids didn't know. They, they, both of them didn't know, no. but they were from the same town and just pure fluke, they'd both use the same sperm donor. So they were literally both brother and sister. And they'd been in a sexual relationship for several years. Jeez. And it was the guy posting and he said as soon as he got the results, like he just felt like he wanted to instantly vomit. Like he just wanted to be sick. And he felt like all under his own, like in his skin, just like disgusted. Like he wanted to just shower. And they like had to drive to his mum's house to like get the, they got the results from his oh mum first. My. And then... This is an American. Her mom lived at the other side of the States. So they had to do like this 19 hour car journey or something. Silent. Neither of them said a thing. They got there and then, yeah, it all tied up. And he said like he, they had to split up. They were like, shall we, shouldn't we? Yeah. They were like, they they toed and froed, but they were like, there's no way we can continue. Like years. But then Um, you couldn't physically have kids like that, right? Isn't that like... Brother yeah, and sister having kids the really prob- bad. It's against the law. You're allowed cousins, but you're not allowed brother and sister. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. the probability of like d- genetic, genetic de- deformations yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's much, much higher. But he Jeez. was like, I came away from it with a sister, but oh, yeah, yeah. No. And then there was a really bad one. This one's a bit dark though. Would you rather know or not know in that situation? No, I would. Yeah. Because people always like, say if, to I wonder him, if they could us. press a button that's like, go back in time, never do 23 and me, and... Yeah, that's an interesting choice. Would they choice. press the button, yes or no? But then for the future, for the, if, what if they had kids and their kids have got horrible deformities? They'll be like, I wish I'd have known because then mm. I've caused pain. But like people have come to you before or like your sister wants. Like, yeah, we've been filming on a, on a shoot before and someone's like, oh, we need to uh, mic up your sister. I'm like, it's my girlfriend, mate. It's, it's like <laughs> happened a few times as well. I don't, I don't think we look that similar, do we? <laughs> People, people. Have you guys done 23 and me? <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. Actually, we, we did literally it in a video. Yeah. yeah, we share no DNA at all. <laughs> no. Like literally zero. Like great, Less great. What do you think person. of it though? Because I've looked into doing it um, and I haven't done it, not because of this, but there's so much like around the people, like them keeping your DNA. Oh, and I doing think they stole your data. And there's and so, so many. Yeah, I think they're probably People did data. warners of that, but were like, eh, screw it, it's a good Let's video. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but also at the same time, apparently, like one of the theories is that they're keeping your DNA, like your data. Say for example, if you were to get an illness, they've got your DNA prior to that illness. So you could buy, I don't know, the stems back off of them, the stem mm. cells without the illness to be able to get rid of the condition yeah. quicker and things. Like, That's like it could be good. used positively, yeah. but, it could but to make money. Definitely yeah. be used negatively. Because there's for another sure. site that you can run your data through uh, called Prometheus. And it will give you like a little bit, like um, actually a much more uh, detailed breakdown of your like diseases and your DNA and all that kind of thing. And for mine, it said um, I had a seven times, 7.3 times higher chance of having hypertension, like high blood pressure uh, because of my DNA. And I know that because a lot of people in my family suffer from it. Wow. Now, if I was in America and I needed to buy healthcare and I'd done that 23andMe test, what is to stop that data being sold to an insurance company? and them increasing my insurance or not insuring me at all based on that. Mm, so that is where it gets yeah. a little bit weird. But do you want oh another really my creepy gosh. dark story as well though? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, a girl used 23 and me and she found on there um, what was her half sister. And she's like, oh, this is amazing. I've got a half sister. But the half sister was 12 years old. And she was like, this makes no sense because my parents have been together for X amount of time. And she knew that they'd previously had um, a, a, like, a, like, like, a sister that was in this family before that had left. And then she came back and like, like refound her parents when she was 32. And then she disappeared. Her mom, the mum said the sister just disappeared again. It turns out the person that, found, that the girl found on 23andMe was her sister's child that she'd had with her father. So that's why oh, they that, Oh, you remember DNA, you telling me that's yeah. grim. So when the, this sister came back Shit. to the family, they, she had started an affair with her own father and the mother didn't know anything about it. And the mom didn't... No, because the sister had grown up away from the, like she, She'd not grown up with her mum and dad. So she, yeah. So the, Did she, she knew it was her dad though. Yeah. But apparently that is super common if a child grows up from their parents and comes back uh, or a brother and sister and you don't, you're not, you didn't grow up with them, there's a high likelihood that you will become attracted to them. 
because you're attracted to your own DNA. There's that whole theory, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, it's It's kind of a bit dark and weird. What's the theory of like, do either of you guys know? You know the thing where it's like all boys want to kill their dad to have sex with their mum? Yeah, yeah, that's Freud's, Freud's theory. Yeah. yeah. That, that literally that's proves weird. it right there. I'm not quite, I don't know the ins and outs. It's like one, all but... boys growing up, just like DNA, like you cannot control it, apparently, as you're growing up, want to kill their dad to have sex with the mum. That's so weird. I mean, I haven't looked into it enough to know anything yeah. about it. I remember someone doing the research in school or college and telling me that, and I'm like, yeah. I don't think that happened with me. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, statistically, and I'm like, Nope, I'm, I'm out. Break that mold yeah. and say I'm like, no, nope, bullshit. That one's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. Nice. Hey. That's it. That was fun. That thanks was so fun. much, yeah, guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, Sorry to really leave hot. it on such a dark note. <laughs> no, I liked it. I liked it. Super interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> Super interesting. Okay, if you want to check out any of these guys' stuff, I leave all the links down below. We're also going to film a couple of extra secrets for everyone that's got the membership button turned on, which is a new thing. A uh, little separate video that's going to be uploaded for members only. So if you haven't done that, you can check it out. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>